our across the street neighbors from Veritas general manager, bar manager, events manager, Jeffrey Brewster, and head chef, Sherry Cruz. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. I'm, yeah. uh, Sherry, welcome, welcome to uh, Jackson and uh, Veritas. <laughs> How long have you been head chef? Uh, for about what, a month and a half now. Yeah. Like that. How's it going like so that. far? Yeah, it's great. I love it. Love so being I, creative. I, I've had some of your cooking because I've been there in the last month, and it's great. Thank you. <laughs> What's your specialty? If you were maybe having mm -hmm. a big party, you wanted to put on a really nice dinner? Mostly like Asian American mm -hmm. food but I'm open to anything, so I like everything. <laughs> well, we do have uh, a lot of um, like uh, sushi and those kinds of things on yeah. the menu. Oh, yes. So could we see <laughs> some more influences from the Pacific? Yes, for sure. Upcoming, stay tuned. It's for like our New Year's Eve party. Um, we have a couple dinners too that's coming up as well that we'll have a lot of different and unique things. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, let's talk about uh, New Year's Eve. Oh, your favorite, Jeffrey, 80s. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? Um, well, we kind of kept with the theme of decades. Last year we did the 20s. This year we decided to do the 80s. We were between that and the 70s, and the 80s just seemed more fun to me for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So uh, that night you can look forward to Ian Stewart starting out on guitar and some vocals beforehand, and then we're going to do a DJ this year, which is a little bit different than we have done in the past. Uh, we had, I think, a live band the last year, so we're trying out a DJ to see how that goes this year, and we think it's going to be a really good time. We're going to try to get some really old style arcade games in. Uh, no promises on that, but it'd be really fun to just have some like Pac-Man and Asteroids up. There will be an open bar, lots of food that Sherry is going to help make. There is going to be a lot of like 80s theme and neon decorations everywhere, a photo booth, a uh, champagne toast is going to happen at midnight. And then we're trying to create um, something super memorable that will happen when the ball drops. We're not sure what that is. We have a couple of ideas. We just need to make the final pieces kind of fit into place. Ideally, people should dress for, for yeah. the 80s. Yeah, there's going to be a few different um, prizes to give out. So there will be one for couples that kind of fit that nice 80s theme. Uh, it's big hair, blush all the way up to your eyebrows. <laughs> uh, um, and then a few other door prizes as well that we'll give out. So Cool. Sherry, what, what are you thinking for the, uh, the menu that night? The New Year's Eve menu is uh, going to be some seafood and some you know we'll have this huge meat set up so just stay tuned for the menu okay. just so keep it's like, posted it'll be to like our a, page uh, like a buffet kind of thing yes okay. correct and little hors d'oeuvres so we're planning those all out this mm -hmm. week so people can they can graze uh, throughout the, the night oh yes. yeah um and the nice thing is this year the tickets are only 50 dollars, which is super super affordable you can get them either online at Eventbrite, on all of our posters, there's like a QR code, or you can get them in the restaurant. We'll have those available starting tomorrow, I think, so. Well, something smells really good, and it's uh, what you brought in today. What is this? That's our filet gruyere risotto with our Bordelais sauce. Um, so what we do, we do the demi in-house, and then we reduce the red wine and the demi together, and it makes this thick, like, um, beef gravy, I should say, <laughs> with our sautéed mushrooms and our filet that we get locally um, from our Manchester market. And our risotto on the bottom is actually vegetarian, um, so if someone wanted to order a side of it, they could. It's good. According yeah. to uh, Gordon Ramsay, risottos a tough dish to master. Yeah. yeah. I've never made it. I'm, I'm just afraid because he yells at people when they don't make it right. Yeah. The um, holiday season, a great time to come in for, yeah. for dinner. Are you seeing a lot of groups coming in this, this month? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, just last week, between Thursday and Saturday, we had nine events in all three rooms yes. in the restaurant, not counting um, large people, groups, I should say, that had reservations on the main floor. So it's definitely something to look forward to around the holiday times to come out and really create a special experience. Yeah, it's, it is. And the place looks great. You've decorated it for Christmas. Yeah. And specials that you've had, 
um, changing specials, uh, I think on a weekly basis. We do, yes. What's, uh, what's special this week? Um, depending on what we have uh, locally, because normally we work with Manchester Market mm -hmm. or we trade with our sister restaurants and whatever we come up with, it's just day of, mm -hmm. automatic, just fast, efficient, and good. Yeah, I, I was amazed. I was at um, Manchester Market mm -hmm. one day, and they were making this giant thing of a white a white cheese sauce. What could it have been? And it was for all the restaurants. It was. Uh, it's probably their pimento cheese, probably for the pretzels for GRB. That could be one. Well, that's but neat. I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> Huge commercial, and the, you're yeah. able to do some yeah. of that stuff. We share with each other. We're all about community, family, mm -hmm. um, and keeping it, you know, to where we're at. That's what we try to reach out to is our community and supporting everyone. Yeah. The bar, Jeffrey, you love to uh, come up with uh, unique uh, signature cocktails. Yeah. What about uh, for Christmas? What kinds of things do you have? Um, everything on the cocktail menu right now is pretty wintry on its own. We have uh, brown butter old fashioned that we do. Uh, we basically create brown butter in house and then infuse that into the bourbon about 24 hours and then we just create your standard old fashioned with it. But the butter really adds like a richness and some nutty notes to the bourbon that it might not have otherwise. Uh, we're also doing a Spanish coffee right now, which the servers um, get a little bit scared of, but they're really, really cool. Uh, the traditional way to do it is by setting high proof alcohol in the glass on fire. Mm -hmm. And then that brulees some sugar that's around the rim. You pour some cinnamon on it, which makes this great like fireball show table side, and then top it with some coffee and uh, Kahlua to extinguish a fire. And also, um, obviously that's coffee aspect, but that one's been really popular. And then probably the more difficult cocktail on the menu, uh, which I make myself is our eggnog. So we make actual traditional eggnog with just eggs, cream, all of your winter spices. It's really, really good. It takes 30 minutes to an hour to make, depending on how big of a batch I'm making. And then we don't really like to waste anything. So anywhere we can cross utilize stuff, uh, we do. So instead of folding the egg whites into the eggnog, uh, we actually turn them into meringue cookies and then top them with chocolate and peppermint. And that's like the garnish on top for everything. So it's just a really nice wintry treat. How different does the eggnog in a carton taste from the eggnog you make? Um, so the stuff that you're going to get in a store is going to have a lot of stabilizers in it. It's going to have just all these extra ingredients that you really, really don't need. Ours essentially is like a pastry cream that you're making. So it's egg yolk, sugar, uh, you temper it with some milk, and that is just a really rich um, ingredient on its own. And then what really kind of makes it eggnog uh, for us is we add a lot of rum to rum. it <laughs> um, and that adds like a nice little funky it's note. So good. It's yeah, it's a lot so of, good. A lot of the comments we've been getting is I don't really like eggnog but this one is like great so if you haven't had eggnog or homemade eggnog definitely come out and try ours. Yeah and sure you worked at the uh, uh, fancy restaurant at Firekeepers yeah. before uh, Veritas and that's mm -hmm. uh, well respected place uh, for sure. A lot, a lot of it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. and experience there. All right, so we're but getting I through the holidays, and then uh, already you're making plans for some uh, winter fun in January and February. Yeah. Um, we're trying to create some exciting events just to get people out and about. I know in January everyone kind of gets over the holidays, so this is something to be excited about. Uh, we have this great bourbon dinner coming up on the 26th of January. Uh, we're going to do the Buffalo Trace line, so you can expect um, Sazerac Rye, uh, Eagle Rare, there's this great 1792 full proof bourbon that we're going to do, and then the most exciting one that I think will get a lot of people into it uh, is Blanton's, it's going to be on the menu. Um, mm -hmm. And anybody that knows bourbon um, pretty much loves Blanton's, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the menu, it's always in evolution, isn't it? Yes, it is. Springtime, actually after December, that's when we're going to transition into spring and then I'm going to see if I can find some springy, you know, mm -hmm. end of winter, springtime. 
Yeah, that's going to be amazing. What's your favorite thing to eat? I don't have one favorite no? thing to eat. Oh my gosh. Do you have some? Do you have a favorite? Um, I do, and it's going to get a lot of flack because it's not high quality in the slightest. No, I love it. I know what you're going to say. I don't think you do. So mac and cheese is just like a favorite of mine, and Sherry actually has a great lobster mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. This is terrible. My favorite food in the world, for no good reason, is the Velveeta broccoli mac and cheese <laughs> that you get in a box <laughs> from yeah. Meyer. Can't explain why, but ever since I was a kid, I was... Whenever I want comfort, that's exactly what I go back to. Yeah. But I mean, you have some great options at Veritas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come close to yes. that. <laughs> I love every, everything, so I don't have one favorite food. Well, my favorite is spaghetti and meatballs. And Ooh. You can't find that anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. I have to come up with something fancy. Yes, I People are I afraid will. to put it on a menu for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I actually made it for them for family meal one night. Oh, call me next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remember that. So if you want to make uh, reservations for 80s New Year's Eve uh, at Veritas, and that's going to be upstairs, right? Yep, it's going to be on our third floor. Uh, we can do it uh, by tickets. Um, on Eventbrite, going through the Veritas uh, websites or social media. Yeah. Great. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. The head chef at <laughs> Veritas, Sherry Cruz, and GM, bar manager, and events manager, Jeffrey Brewster. <laughs> Thank you. Time for one more guest on the show.